Let's say we're playing a game which involves rolling two dice and adding the scores together. Um, and a good example of that is you, when you play a game like Monopoly, you usually play with two dice and you combine the scores. So let's say we want to look at the probability of getting uh, certain scores on these dice. So what you can do is build up what is called a sample space. It's like a table. So for the first dice, you could get one, two, three, four, five, or six. And for the second, you could get one, two, three, four, five, or six. And so, vertically for the first dice, horizontally for the second, we're going to be adding the scores together, so it looks like a multiplication table, but instead it's an addition table. So we have 1 plus 1 is 2, then 1 plus 2 is 3, then we'd have 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So, if you roll a 6 and a 6, you get 12. Right, so this is, would be the sample space of rolling two fair die and adding the scores together. Now, from this, you can then look at, well, what is the probability of scoring a 5, for example? So, scoring a 5, I can get a 5 there, one there, one there, and one there. And there are no other 5s. So, the probability of scoring a 5 is that there are 4 possibilities out of all of these. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, by 6. So, 6, 6 is a 36. So there's actually 4 out of 36 ways to get a 5. That can be simplified down, which gets you to uh, 1 ninth. Okay. Let's see what else we can gain. Well, you could also have the probability of scoring a 5 or a 6. Okay, so you can combine probabilities together. So, let's say um, my opponent, when we're playing Monopoly, uh, whether you like it or not, um, my opponent is going to land on two of my properties. Both have hotels on them. So, if they score a five or a six, they will land on my properties. If not, they will uh, skip ahead. Okay? So let's find the probability of them landing on my hotels. So they can either get a 5 or a 6. And so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 possibilities out of still 36. So 9 out of 36 is 1 quarter. So they have a 25% chance of rolling a score that will land them on my hotels, for example. You could also be asked something like, well, what is the probability of scoring lower than 7? Well, lower than 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's no 1s there, but it will incorporate all of these numbers that are strictly lower than the 7. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's actually 15 ways of getting a number less than 7 out of 36. That can be simplified again, divide top and bottom by 3, and you get 5 twelfths. Now from the sample space, you can also gain other bits of information. 
there's only one way of scoring a 2 or a 12, for example. And the most likely score that you would get from rolling two dice is actually 7. Okay, because that actually comes up more times than any other number. So there's six ways of getting a 7. Um, and the next best is an 8 or a 6. So a lot of it could be told from a sample space, and you could be asked to fill out a sample space and then answer questions thereon.